with y'all with a video today that I really wish that I didn't have to make. Um, you're going to be watching this probably tomorrow. Um, and I'm, I'm recording it now because I just want to go ahead and get it out of the way. Um, it, makes, it makes me sad because this is literally, literally, literally the same thing that happened to Charlie Murphy. Literally. I, and I'm not talking about, you know, the type of cancer, but people could see something was wrong. So for those of y'all that are coming in here that are kind of like, you know, what what is he talking about? Long ago, as I was streaming, I got a message from one of my friends, and we're all big into, you know, what we call nerd stuff, and they told me that Chadwick Boseman passed away. And he passed away at, what, 42, 43? And that is really early, man. For any of y'all that don't remember, um... There was a video that Chadwick Boseman made a while back, and he looked like he was sick. It's April 15th. It's Jackie Robinson Day. That's right, it's still Jackie Robinson Day. I can't think of a better time to remember my hero, and the hero of uh, many of you out there, than this time that we're in, this pandemic. Um, I can't think of a better way to commemorate everything that he was about than to announce uh, the partnership between Tolco and Figs. You know, Figs is, is uh, one of the companies that's the designer and man manufacturer of modern medical apparel. The crazy thing is, is this, ex this exact thing is what happened with Charlie Murphy. We had a stand up um had a stand up show and he looked real sick and people were real concerned at the time they were really concerned and little did we know that, you know, people being concerned they had a, a valid reason to be concerned. Um and, and you know, I know that, you know, the celebrities uh, they they want to keep their life private, so, you know, um it just sucks when you're kind of just chilling and everything's, you know, everything's going like, you know, everything's going and all of a sudden, you know, as a, as a fan, you know, we didn't have any time to prepare or take it in. It's, it's different, you know, I know we're not, you know, the close family, you know, we're not parents, cousins, none of that, but man, this journey that we've been on with Marvel, man, I made... My, my my friends that who I'm actually going to see tomorrow, uh, we're going to watch the UFC fight. Um, we made such good memories off of something like Black Panther, man. I went and watched Black Panther like seven times in the movie theater. Seven times, bro. Seven times. It's crazy. Seven times. I went and watched Black Panther seven times, bro. Real talk. Real talk, man. So, um, I just want to say that you know, rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. Um, and you left a good body of work, man. You left a good body of work. And for what we could tell, um, you know, we didn't know you personally, but you gave everything your all, man. And I really, I really, I'm just, uh, he gave everything his all, man. And that's all you can ask for. And I hope that, you know, um, man, dude, man, just, I just want to say thank you, man, rest in peace and thank you, um, I won't make this video long, but I just really want to speak my piece on it, like, it, it hurts, man, it hurts, um, Black Panther definitely got me through some, it got me through, like, a, a rough patch, because it came out when I was in college and I had a lot of stuff going on in my mind and I literally went and watched that movie seven times. I think I went to see it like twice by myself, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, yeah. So but man, I'm holla y'all.